Hello and welcome to GSS Small Channel. March partial is around the corner, and I would like to introduce 10 things you should focus on March tournament. This list is 100% from my personal opinion. So if somebody who has something or somebody else to mention, please leave some comments below. First of all, on behalf of all sumo fans in the world, I'd like to thank Sumo Kyokai to make decision to hold March tournament. And also I wish to all personality in Sumo Kyokai's health, including Rikishi, Kyoji, Yobidashi, Oyakata, and all people who work behind the scene. Let's begin. Number one. Coronavirus. Coronavirus threatening on the line. This basho will be the first basho ever being held in closed door in history of sumo. Kyokai decided to go on the tournament without any live audience in the arena instead of suspending entire tournament. They will cancel this tournament at any point when they find coronavirus positive legacy or personality in the organization. It's going to be lack of cheer, but we can catch real clear sound of bouts, which usually disappear by audience cheer. Also, the crowd doesn't like Henka shift on touchy eye and slap or pull down. Without audience, we might see more Henka than usual because Rikishi don't have to feel bad for committing them. It's going to be an unique basho for sure. Number 2. Asano Yama's Ozeki Hunting This basho will be the Asano Yama's second straight Sekiwake ranked basho and third as Sanyaku. He had scored a total of 22 wins in the previous two basho. His Ozeki promotion is on the line. He basically needs to win 12 bouts in the match to be consideration for Ozeki promotion. Number 3. Tokushou Ryu and Shodai January winner Tokushou Ryu jumped up Wanzuke to career high rank Maigashira 2. Ranap Shodai also jumped up and returned to Sekiwake rank. Both Rikishi will face all top tracks. Shodai has been a part of Banzuke quite a long time. His opponents won't be much different than his past basho, but he might feel more pressure being Sekiwake. On the other hand, Tokushou's situation will be different. His previous career high rank was Maigashira 4, almost 5 years ago, and he spent only a couple of basho in the upper part of Maigashira. It will be a whole different sumo bout there. He will face all Yokozuna, Ozeki, and Sanyaku. It's going to be very tough for sure. Scoring Kachikoshi is the best he can aim for. Number 4. Return of Veteran Yokozuna Both Yokozuna Hakuho and Kakuryu will be returned to the dojo. Both withdrew tournament after dropped couple bouts in the beginning of January Basho. Hakuho will be 34 years old soon and Kakuryu also 34 years old. They are 36 years old and not strong as they used to be. We see them often cross the travel line quickly against young push and trust roots. They have lost persevering over years, especially Kakuryu. There is only Onzeki in the basho, uh, which is first time since January 1982. Petra and Yokozuna have to step up to lead all Rikishi. I don't ask them to win the tournament, but I hope they stay all Basho at least. Number 5. Young Ozeki Takakesho 
Takakesho came up short in January. He followed the usual leader until day 13, but he dropped the bout against Sekiwake Asanayama in day 14, which made his second Yusho disappear. His position of trust was not sharp like during his Ozeki campaign, but he managed to win 11 bouts. Actually, in his rank, after winning 8 is not important if he only wants to keep his rank. But he is aiming for one more higher rank. It's straight. Winning Yusho is only a matter for him. Number 6. Newly promoted Kotonowaka. Young 22 year old Kotonowaka makes his Makuchi debut in March. He will start from very bottom of Banzuke, though he is in for winning Basho Strike in Julio Division. Former Sekiwake Kotonowaka, current Sadoga Dake Oyakata, is his father. This is the ninth parent. Child Makuchi debut in history. Also, his grandfather of his mother's side was former Yokozuna Kotozakura. This is the first Makuchi Rikishi debut over three generations. Number 7. Komusubi Return. Endo and Hokuto Fuji returned to Komusubi rank in March. Hokuto Fuji finished with 11 and 4, Ginosho Technic Prize, and Wan Kimboshi. Endo wins Shukun Sho Outstanding Performance Prize and to Kimboshi with 9 and 6 record. Both of them had very good basho. More than their result, their contents of sumo were pretty good in January. They should hold their rank longer than their past. Or possible availability of Sekiwake rank by Asanayama's Ozeki promotion. They can aim to score more than Kachikoshi for Sekiwake promotion. Number 8. Kiribayama. This might be very personal. But I was blown away by rookie Kiribayama's performance in January. He finished with 11 and 4 and winning Kanto Sho Fighting Spirit Prize. I was very surprised by his physical strengths, especially his lower part of body. It might be too much to say, though, the strengths of his lower part of body reminds me of former Ozeki Takanohana. And his arm strength reminds me of former Yokozuna Chiyo no Fuji. He will have a hard time in this basho, but I believe that he can pull off Kachikoshi. He could be close to Yokozuna one day, I think. He also needs his stable senior Yokozuna Kakuryu to neutralize in Japanese. And stay in the stable as Oyakata after his retirement to train this young Mongolian. Number 9. Maigashira Yusho. Tokusho Ryu's Maigashira Yusho in January opens up Yusho to all Rikishi. I bet they feel that they don't have to wait for winning Yusho after higher ranked promotion anymore. The upper part of Maigashira is loaded in March. There are former Ozeki Takayasu and Tochinoshin, former Sekiwake Mitakeumi and Tamawashi. Usual candidates are Asanoyama, Takakesho, and Tu Yokozuna, but if they fail some point in the tournament, we might see another Maigashira Yusho. Number 10. Jugo Rikishi. There are three Juro Rikishi who I'd like you to keep eyes on. Former Ozeki Cherino Fuji is one of them. He is ranked Juro 3 in March. He won Juro Yusho in January, but he lost final three bouts after he made Yusho. It looked his confidence is back with his better needs. It depends on other Rikishi's record, especially Makuchi Rikishi, 
but eight or more wins might take him back to Makuchi division. Yang Kotoshoho and Hoshoryu are other two. 20 year old Julio Six Kotoshoho, used to known as Kotodebakari, has ideal rikishi body as 190 cm tall and 165 kg weight. He prefers classic right Yotsu Zumo. He has spent two Julio Basho and nine and six record both times. His stable Sadogatake has four other secretary rikishi including former Ozeki Koto Shogeku, Koto Eiko, Koto Yuki, and rookie Koto Nawaka. It couldn't be better environment to train Sumo. I think he will make Makuchi debut at some point in year 2020. 09 Hosho Ryu better known as nephew of 6th Yokozuna Asasho Ryu, who took only 10 basho to get the Julio promotion. His young career record is 64 and 36. 27% of his winning moves are overarm throw. His aggressive game changing overarm throw with bad position surprisingly works well. His sumo is very fun to watch. He has a better attitude than his uncle, which will probably make him popular. That's about it. A uh, match Haru Basho starts on Sunday, March 8th. Final day Senshu Rock is on Sunday, March 22nd in Japan. I'll update match up of day 1 and day 2 as soon as possible. Please come back to check them out. Thank you for watching. See you then.